You know, most kids have about 100 days between Memorial Day weekend and then going back to school. Unfortunately, that 100 day span is the deadliest of the summer for teenagers, and that's all according to AAA. So to talk more about that, we have AAA's Jennifer Cook here uh, with the latest numbers. Uh, I mean, these numbers, quite frankly, are, are, are scary. In they some are, aspects. yes. Yeah. So what we see is collisions involving teen drivers uh, go up about 14% during Memorial Day to Labor Day. Mm -hmm. And that's mostly because teens are in their cars more. They might have a job during the day they're going to and from, but they're also going out after what normally would be school hours to go um, play with their friends and do fun activities during yeah. the summer. Uh, what, what are we learning about like, you know, impairment or mm -hmm. uh, distracted driving? Do you have any statistics on that? Yes. So the most common factor in teen fatality collisions is speed. So not being able to handle um, the vehicle, not knowing how fast to go into a curve, uh, maybe showing off for friends. About 38% of fatality crashes involving a teen include speed. 38%, um, wow. Yeah. yeah. The next scary statistic is that 26 involve 26 percent involve impairment well teenagers aren't old enough to be drinking or using marijuana yet so um, that's a very scary statistic yeah. and then the third is distraction yeah. and as we were talking about earlier um, adding another passenger under age 21 is severely distracting to a teen driver mm -hmm. your risk goes up 44 percent with just the first young passenger mm -hmm. and then from there it goes up exponentially and just for the survey's sake when you when we talk about just the survey itself is it teenagers that start at 16 to what, maybe 20 to 21? Is that what we, who we Yeah, we're actually here? talking about 16 and 17 year old drivers, so okay. that real early stage of driving. Okay, um, as, as a parent of three, and mm -hmm. after the break, when we were, during the break we were talking, you're a parent as well, I mean, it's gotta be scary to talk to your teens just on, you know, how to prepare for driving. So what can parents yeah. do to just make sure that they are staying yeah. safe? Yeah, well, first of all, parents are so influential to their teens. Um, get involved. Make sure you're spending time with them when they are behind the wheel um, because a 35-year-old or older passenger in the car, even for teens who already have their license, brings crash risk down by 62%. But get involved. Um, there's a, a parent teen agreement on our website called teendriving.aaa.com that um, really sets out the rules for teens and the consequences if rules are broken. Mm -hmm. The most dangerous time for teens to be driving is late at night, so you can set those hours as to when they can be driving yeah. and who they can be driving with in their vehicle. Yeah, and then not just for teenagers, but for other drivers as well. They have to be aware that, you know, there's going to be inexperienced younger drivers out on the road too, right? Yes, yes. And and just be aware. I, I see more and more people with the student driver sticker on the back yeah, of their car. I see that too. Give people room. Use your patience. Um, yeah. It's it's nerve wracking, especially in our environment here in the Pacific Northwest with so many cars on the road yeah. for a young driver. Absolutely. All right, Jennifer Cook with AAA. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.